welcome to my channel. So today, I'm so excited. It's just like, it's that baby. Hey guys, and welcome to my channel. So today is another makeup tutorial for you guys. My birthday just went past and my sweetheart of a beautiful, gorgeous brother that he is bought me some makeup palettes and I just had to get behind the camera and film a look for you guys because I'm just too excited. I really wanted to try them out and I've just kept them in the box for about a week now and I'm like, you know what, it's time to really just dip into them and I just wanted to dip into it. So here I am dipping into it. So this is the look I came up with using the Naked 3 palette because <laughs> it is just so beautiful and I love all the rose golds and the golds and the golds in it and just all the golds that's happening in this palette. So I've used this yet again on my eyes and my lips. I just really love eyeshadow on the lips and I think that you know when you go in for a palette you could sort of match it up with the lippy, you know? So if you guys want to see how to achieve this look, please keep on watching and I'll see you on the other side with scratches on my face and my face is just not having a good day today. But, see you there. <laughs> Going in with the original Urban Decay eyeshadow primer, I'm just going to put a tiny bit of that on my eyelids. So I'm just going to set that all in with Strange, which is that first colour there. And I'm just going to use the brush that came with it. Now I'm going in with some tape, just because I don't know what I'm going for yet again, like always. I'm just going to wing it. <laughs> so I'm just going to grab my tape, I'm going to put that at the back of my hand and rip that off. And just one more time, just so it's just sticky enough, but not too sticky to the point where you damage your eyes. Next, I'm just going to go in with Muna, which is that shade there, and I'm just going to put that in the crease and slightly above my crease because I have hooded eyes. Grabbing that on the same brush. So I'm just putting that in swiping motions above the crease and just slightly bringing it out to where the tape is and blending that in circular motions. And just gradually just keep building that colour. Next, I'm just going to open up the set of brushes that I got from eBay. I just really wanted to show you guys the packaging. This is like the best packaging I've got of eBay. You guys know that I love eBay and there will be an eBay haul coming very soon for you guys as well, which I'm very excited about because I'm just getting everything together and I'm just waiting for a few more things to come. And I'm just going to continue the same thing I was doing. I just think that brush was a bit too harsh. I've got really delicate eyes. I've got very sensitive skin, so... Um, I think it was irritating my eyelids just a bit, so going back in with Nuna and just keep building that up. And next I'm just going to go in with Factory. I'm not taking that all the way in, I'm just taking it halfway through the crease, the upper crease. And I'm just going circular motions towards the end of the air. And going in with dark side, and I'm just going to pop that in the same place that I have popped the last two colours. So just for a bit more definition. So after blending for like half an hour and applying and gradually applying and gradually applying, you should get something like this. For the outer V, we are just going to go in with a black heart, which is this shade there. I'm just going to put that right on the outer V. Slightly going up and going in. I'm just going back in with the original brush for the outer V. And just quickly going back in with my eBay brush just to blend that out completely. Now, with the flat side of the brush that it comes with, I'm just going to go in with dust. Quickly. And that's for the inner corners. Okay, I'm just going to go in with my pinky because I feel like I'm getting a lot more 
on my lid through my pinky than the brush. I don't know if I'm liking the brush so far. It's let me down quite a bit in this tutorial. Next, I'm just going to pick up Buzz, which is that colour there, and put that in the centre and towards the inner corner. Again, with my pinky, because I'm getting a lot more better colour payoff. And last colour I'm going to go in with is Trick. And for blending, we are going in with the blending brush again. I'm not going to pick up any product, I'm just going to blend that through. That part is most of that glitter is falling off, but I'll just reapply it very slightly. Again, just go in with your pinky with every colour just slightly. So like always, I will do my foundation and my face and then I will finish off with the eyes again. Now there was a bit of fallout, so I'm just going to wrap that around my finger like so and just pick up the fallout. Now remember to always be very gentle around your eyes because it is very delicate. Now I'm quickly just going to hydrate my face and I'm going in with Maria Badescu and I'm just going to spray that all over my face. Now I've got a sample of the Too Faced Hangover Primer. I've used it once and I am in love. I'm going to go purchase that. i will just use up whatever I've got at the moment. Now it little goes a long way. This hair is annoying the fragile bit of me. Next for foundation, I'm just going in with a Born This Way Warm Nude Foundation. And this is by Too Faced. And I'm just going to work that in with my Chi Chi sponge. Then next I'm going in with my contouring stick and this is the model's preferred contouring stick. And I'm just going to chisel my cheekbones with it, just like so. Ooh la la. And I'm just going to start by slowly dragging that up and down and down. Going in with my MAC Studio Fix. Spray that on there, and that just helps blend that out a lot easier. I'm also going to go in with the Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer, and I've got to say I've tested this out three times, and it is like the bomb.com. So just under my eyes. Just to highlight the contour a bit more. Keep it to chin and just bridge up the nose. Going in with the top side of my Chi Chi sponge, again I'm just going to spray a bit more of the Prep and Prime on that. Now time to bounce that all in. And now to bake, I'm just going to go in with a bit of my RCMA translucent powder and a bit of my Laura Mercier powder, mix those two together and that's what I'm going to bake with. And just going in with my Mookie sponge, I'm just going to damp that in there. And before applying the powder, just make sure that there are no creases. Time to make a mess. <laughs> and just right under the contour and let's just take it out again, just a bit more. And just let that bake for 15 minutes. As usual, I'm just going to go to the back, do my eyebrows, just because like, I literally just go over them with a pencil very quickly. I don't do anything dramatic with them. I'm not a big fan of my eyebrows, so the quicker I can just get them done and come back, the better. Just before I dust that off, I'm just going to set my contour in, and I'm going in with NYX Taupe. And I'm just using an eBay brush, and this is a fake Real Techniques one that I also got. Now, time to dust that off and just basically swipe it off. And then I'll have to go and circular motions just to blend that completely in. Next, I'm going in with Essence Eyeshadow. This is the Granny Goes Glammy. Going in with blush, as always, the Napoleon Blush Patrol, my favourite blush of all time. Going on the fake Real Techniques brush. This is another one that I bought off eBay and this is the 100. This has got a blur on its own. 
Finishing off the eyes, I'm just going to go back in with the Naked 3 palette and basically everything I did to the top, I'm just going to do to the bottom. I'm just going to grab the dusk and put that on the lower lash line in the inner corners. Then going in with Buzz. Then going in with Trick. And then going back in with my Even Brush, I'm just going to pick up the dark side and I'm just going to place that on the outer corner. I'm just going that in with the rest of the eyeshadow. Next, going in with a bit of a gel liner. This is by BH Cosmetics and this is in Studio Pro. I'm just going to use my BH Cosmetics brush and this is the number 14. Then I'm just going to go in with NYX Jumbo Pencil and this is in Sparkling Nude and I'm just going to put that on the lower waterline. For mascara, I'm just going to be using the new Maybelline, the Bolsa Push-Up Drama, and I'm just going to put that on the lower lashes to start off with. And then I will do the lashes up the top once I apply my falsies. So for now, we'll just move on to the lips. And for lips, I'm just going to go in with Gerard Cosmetics. This is Nude Lip Gloss. And I'm just going to go on the top of that lip gloss with a bit of dust. I'm just placing that all over the lip area. Now this is optional, you don't have to do this. But I just love eyeshadows as lip is. And then I will go pop on my falsies and I'll be back for you guys. Okay guys, and that is the end for this video. I've applied my falsies and they're just eBay lashes. I'll leave the link down below for you guys. I'm obsessed with my eBay lashes. And now my new obsession is this palette. It is so beautiful. Once again, thank you bro. You got me, bro. You got me. <laughs> if you guys also enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up so I know that you guys enjoyed this look. For now, I hope you guys have an amazing week and I hope I see you guys next week. See you later. Bye. And so that is it for you guys. So that is it for this. Why do I want to do that? Oh, yeah. Like, what's up? Like, yo. Like, did you guys like this? Video. Alright guys, and she does it again. <laughs> I like what I came up with, it's very nice. You can't give your fucking self compliment, bitch. <laughs>